Bob. It started with 10 bullfighters, 22 regular season matches, and now down to the national finals. Here is the top six. Let's meet them individually. This is Steve Mowry. He's from Pressure, South Dakota. Came to the national finals in the lead. This next bullfighter, the Kamikaze Kid from Roseburg, Oregon, Rob Smith, strong contender for the world title. Leon Coffey of Austin, Texas. He's a funny man and a great bullfighter. This is the reigning champ, Skipper Voss, trying to defend his title. Our first champion ever was this man, Miles Hare. He won it two years ago. And a strong contender is Rick Chapman from Texas. Those are the top six in competition for $51,000. In the barrel, Whale Dobbs of Cahoma, Texas, and Mr. Tom Feller of Everman, Texas. They'll take the knocks for all six of them in the barrel. Now here is a little added entertainment by Leon Coffey. After his time has expired, he has stopped and entertains the audience a little. Steve Bowery fought bulls well all week long, drew some tough bulls, and here is one of them. Well, it'll be back in 84 with a quarter of a million dollars and 12 bullfighters. We'll be looking forward to that in the 84 season. Now there he would be marked down a bit for the bull getting him down. Protection of the bull rider, that's where it all began as we watched Miles' hair work. They're judged in this category as well. The importance of the rodeo bullfighter is to protect the bull rider after he's bucked off or gets down. Good work by Miles Hare. Now here is one of many jumps that we saw during the four go-rounds. Rob Smets with a victory jump and a thrill for our audience. Well, I'll promise you it was wild all through the four go-rounds of the freestyle. Here's the champ, Skipper Voss. He drew bad in the fourth go-round. This is a fast bull. Skipper was handling him well until the bull overtook him, got him in a little bit of trouble. Well, here is the world's champion, Wrangler Bullfighter 483, Rob Smith. 